Me on a talk show? What? This can't be real. But it is. Welcome back to Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose. Yes, in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, you guessed it, in the description box below. What is going on? What is all this talk about a talk show? Yes, I got approached. I was asked to be on a live talk show in Portland, Oregon called Afternoon Live. I was over the moon excited to get this opportunity. So it was definitely an opportunity that I wasn't going to pass up. It's the first time I've ever been invited to be on a talk show. And so I was a bit nervous but I was excited nonetheless. And so today I wanted to share with you the footage and my experience on the talk show. I was nervous to do my first live appearance. I want to say that the one thing I was most nervous about was getting tongue tied and kind of fumbling over my words. I'm somebody who when I get nervous, I talk a bit fast and I tend to get tongue tied. And so I was really nervous about that happening live on this talk show. I didn't want to go into it scripted. I really just kind of wanted to have some key points that I wanted to say and I wanted to just kind of, I guess, freeform it. But with that, sometimes I get tongue tied, like I said, and I was really nervous that that was going to happen. But in the end, I was really surprised at how well I did. Right before the live Zoom, my word, my iPad stopped working. And before I went on live, the day before, I had gotten a Zoom account. I had a Zoom account on my computer. I had one on my iPad. And I had my iPad completely set up so it was at the right, I guess, level. I could see what was going to be in frame. And when I held things up, I would see what angle I needed to hold them up at. For whatever reason, my iPad would not get the email link. The only device I could get it on was my phone. And as I am on the phone with the guys in the booth at the talk show, I literally had 20 seconds to get my phone set up. And oh my word, it was not at the angle that I wanted it to be at, but it had to work. I would say that that was the only glitch that I had, but my word, it made me nervous and it got, got me a bit worked up. But I think, like I said, in the end, it worked out okay. I did all right and it's an experience. I got to learn from it and I'm excited for more experiences to come. So for now, I'm gonna quit my gabbing and I'm gonna share uh, my live footage with you on Afternoon Live in Portland, Oregon. Thanks for watching Afternoon Live. If you love giving personalized gifts, but you're on a budget, our next guest has the perfect DIY project for you. We welcome craft expert Kelly Barlow to the show. Kelly, thanks for joining us today. Hi, thank you for having me. Well, you have so many cute decorations behind you. I'm curious, what are we making today? Today, I am gonna be showing you how to make a quick and easy DIY decorative wall tile that can be displayed on a wall or on an easel. I like to make them for different holidays and seasons. And well, since Mother's Day seems to be creeping up and it's right around the corner, I figured that this would make for a really fun and different gift to give that special someone, maybe an alternative to a bouquet of flowers. No, that flowers is so pretty. Tile. So pretty, flowers that they can have forever. It looks kind of difficult though. How do you even start? Oh no, no, it is so simple, quick and easy. It really is kind of a one ingredient DIY, if you can believe that. So what, are, what do you need to get it done? You need Plaster of Paris. That really is the main ingredient. You can get Plaster of Paris at just about any craft store. This four pound carton, I wanna say was under 
And this is gonna allow you to make three of today's tiles. So it's super budget friendly and it's easy to work with. Two parts plaster of Paris to one part water and you're pretty much done. How did you make the block? So for the block, you're gonna need four cups of plaster of Paris to two cups of water. You're gonna mix that plaster of Paris until it's well and incorporated with the water. Once you've got a nice, smooth, thick consist consistency, you're gonna wanna go ahead and pour it into whatever mold or container. In my case, I'm using just an everyday storage container, five by seven in measurement and um, it's perfect in shape and size. And so you just go ahead and pour that plastic into this container, let it set for about 10 minutes. And after about 10 minutes, you should be good to go to add whatever embellishments it is that you want to add to your tile. And so in my case, I wanted to add paper flowers. Paper flowers are a great inexpensive embellishment and what mom doesn't love flowers on Mother's Day. And so you can easily just stick those paper flowers into the plaster of Paris after it's set for about 10 minutes. So they'll stick to the plaster. Okay, can you even do like hand prints or personalized stuff such as that or write things in that plaster of Paris? Oh, you totally can. I say get creative and run away with it and make it your own. Don't be afraid to get creative and try something new because it's so budget friendly that if you mess up, you can try, try again. Okay, the popping out thing would make me nervous. Do you have to spray it or anything before you put the plaster of Paris there or it just pops right out of that plastic? Um, well, the plastic, it does pretty much pop right out. But my thing is I like to just be safe and I kind of line the inside of the container with some vegetable oil, just simple cooking vegetable oil, just to ensure that it'll pop out pretty easily. And it really does. So show me those flowers again. So you added the flowers and then what did you do yes. for the leaves? Did you actually just take leaves to the paper leaves that they came with? Yeah, they were already attached to the flowers. The only thing I wanted to add was a stem. And so um, after the plaster dries, I just took some thicker twine cord and cut it to size and used a tacky glue or even a hot glue to adhere it onto the tile itself. And so this is what it pretty much looks like before you can get creative and paint your plaster or even stain your plaster. And so I chose to go the staining route because I really like kind of that aged, distressed, crowded, clouded, blended look. And so you can achieve that by using a wood stain, if you can believe it. Just a simple wood stain does the trick. And um, I'm using early American. There's a color for everybody. So you did that onto that plaster right there, or you're going to right yes. now? You just take a simple paintbrush go ahead and submerge it into your stain and you can easily apply it to the plaster. And you will see as I do it that that plaster really just absorbs the stain really quickly and takes on the color. And so um, you may need a couple of coats of the stain to achieve whatever color it is that you're looking for because it lightens up as it absorbs it but I tell you, once it dries, you get that uneven, distressed look that is so rustic and fun. And it really is free of scent or residue too. I know some people would be a little bit afraid of that using a wood stain, but it really does just dry with no scent and it's residue free. And do you seal it at the end or you're done like that? You totally can seal it if you want to. Um, I personally don't seal it because I don't really have a need to because it's gonna be indoors. But if it's something you're gonna display outdoors, I would definitely use an indoor or an outdoor spray sealant because that's probably the easiest way to get a nice even coverage. Kelly, great job. Thank you so much for the idea. Oh, thank you so oh, much. That, They're really the fun. One. Yes, this is the end result. And I tell you, you can really, really get creative with these. Like I said, I like to make them for different holidays. And so this is one that I made for Easter. And it's fun just to kind of make your own collection of tiles, you know, and display them on a wall. No, I love that idea. I'm definitely gonna be doing that. Thank you so much.
Thank you so much for having me. Oh, absolutely. We're going to have more information about Kelly on our website at KATU.com. And stay right there. Afternoon Live will be right back. Such a fun, fun experience. I like to say that through my experiences grows wisdom. And so what I learned from this experience, I will most definitely apply to the next one and there will be a next one. Since my live appearance on Afternoon Live, they have reached out to me and said that they would love to have me as a guest in upcoming segments. And so I am really excited to be bringing to them more fun DIYs. It is just one of those things that I say is a stepping stone that is someday going to get me where I want to be in life. And really, I don't know that I've ever shared it with you all, but one of my main goals is to come out with my own crafting line called The Crafted Life. And that is something that I'm working really hard toward. And it's gonna get me just one step closer to my overall dream of having my own crafting line. I hope you all enjoyed seeing my live appearance on Afternoon Live with me. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes. Because like I always say, and I know I sound like a broken record, but it's true. Each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, well, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy everything on a budget. Happy crafting on a budget. Happy DIY on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive, please. And bye for now, everybody.